Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. This is a rear entry, manual ramp and door, very easy to operate, very low cost to maintain. I can operate this entire conversion using just two fingers. I pinch and flip. These handles, these are clamps, keep these ramps from rattling. It's a great design. Look here, I can take down this 34 inch wide ramp with just my index finger. I tell our customers, if you can lift half a gallon of milk up off the ground, you can operate this ramp with ease. 34 inches wide, which is four inches wider than the side entry, 800 pound weight capacity, 56 inches coming inside the van, 58 once you're inside the van. It does taper down to about 33 here at the base where the ramp sets. Eight tie down points, so you can get up to two wheelchairs at a time in here, or a gurney or a stretcher. Got your spare tire there, your jack and tools there. Got your second row of seats, have 21 inches of room between them. A chair, you know, a person's legs can slide up in between those. If you want more room, we have seats that flip up on their side. We can remove one of the seats to make some more room. There's no one size fits all. Let me know your measurements, let, let me know what you need. We're happy to customize this van to meet your needs. Has a little air pump back there, so in case you get a hole in your tire, you can plug that into your cigarette lighter, keep you aired up until you get to a place to change your tire, or to some help. Got your nice center console there with plenty of cup holders, your backup camera plug in your auxiliary cord to the uh, radio there steering wheel controls so you can keep your eyes on the road dual climate control rear air plenty of plugs for all your electronics and more cup holders so when you get everybody secure and we do have the q strength a set of used q strength pull tight tie downs with the shoulder harness there so when you get everybody secure come back out one finger here is all it takes lift it up clamp it down and you're ready to roll these manual ramps and doors are a great alternative to the super costly electric ramps and doors. When they go bad, those electric ramps and doors are super expensive to work on. I'm not talking 500 bucks, they can get the thousands real quick. So if you have any, if you have the ability to lift that ramp, these manuals are a great way to go. A uh, quick walk around, tinted windows, all the tires are matching Goodyear's with about eight 30 seconds of tread left on them, so a lot of tread left on them. Also, a brand new conversion. Now. Our competition is going to tell you, the bronze and VMIs of the world, they're going to tell you they have a better conversion than we do. And that's okay. That's what they're paid to say. Ask them, what is the warranty on their conversion when it's brand new like ours is? They'll tell you three years, 36,000 miles. Ours is three years, unlimited miles. You tell me who has the better built conversion. On the van, very clean. A little scratch there on the front bumper. A little nick down there. Hope you can tell by our videos. I'm trying to be honest and fair as I possibly can. I'm not trying to represent this as a brand new, perfect van, but I'm saying for 10 years old, it's super clean, super nice, well taken care of. I'll show you the Carfax here in just a minute. On the interior, we always show you the VIN number. That way you know we have the vehicle here in our possession. Very clean. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors. Just give you a different view of the back here. These back seats look darn near brand new themselves. So whoever had this van took great care of it. We've got one key, got the keyless entry. If you want us to make a second key on your dime, I believe there's $199. When I go to fire the van up, fires right up every time. No check engine lights, no airbag lights, no ABS lights, none of that. See the current miles, 57,629 miles. I'll show you the Carfax shows those are, those are actual miles. Got your backup camera there. And I've got four mechanics that work for me, ASC certified. We test every button on this van. We do not just throw these on the lot. They go for very extensive service. Most dealerships throw them, take them to their car wash, throw them on the lot. They don't tell you about the little issues or little scratches and if something doesn't work, you don't know until you get the van. So even the back, back vents there, let me pop the hood here so you can listen to it run. Underneath the hood has a 3.6 V6 engine, idles smoothly. No signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. As I call underneath the van, much of the same. Very clean. No signs of any rust from a flood. No signs of any leaks. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. Now I see a little bit of surface rust under there, but that's gonna be on any 10 year old vehicle. Overall, it's very clean, very nice to me. And that's the number one mistake people make when buying used vehicles. They assume things. They assume just because it's low miles. They assume because it looks nice in pictures. They assume just because the salesman's nice to them on the cell phone, on the, on the phone, they assume they're getting a good deal. They assume it's not all rusted out. And I tell you what, go check out my competition. That's right, go to their website. I'm sending you right now. 
Do they show pictures, much less videos of the undercarriage? I know why they're doing that. They buy these from New York, they buy them from Chicago, they buy rust buckets, they slap a can of black spray paint on, on underneath there. You never know it until you get the van that starts having problems with corrosion underneath, brake lines, AC lines. I'm telling you what, do not assume things. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a warranty. This van comes with a 90 day warranty good anywhere in the country. Uh, most of our dealers are selling as is. Demand a Carfax report, demand a video, and also get online, check them out, find out who they are, look at their reputation. Make sure they're a real company. Do not send your money overseas to some offshore account. Look them up on Google. Make sure they're a local company within the United States. Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on a test drive, give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know, you don't have to assume, you know the van's got good acceleration, runs and drives good, shifts smoothly, has a strong engine. Pop it up to about 65, 70 miles an hour here. You can see the steering wheel is nice and straight. This is exactly what we're looking for. Got the cruise control set, cruise works good. Van runs and drives wonderfully. Uh, with all that being said, please keep in mind it's a used vehicle. Yes, we do offer the 90-day warranty. Uh, if you'd like to uh, protect your investment longer term, uh, warranties go six months up to like four years and everywhere in between. Talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment. Also, keep in mind we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers have a real nice price online. Then you start reading the fine print or it's time to close the deal. They start slapping all these fees they didn't tell you about. $500 dock fees, tag fees, administrative fees. And then, oh yeah, they don't have free shipping like we do. Have you seen the price of diesel? Not to mention never dealt with a shipping company. It's not fun, but that's why I handle that for you. I take that off your plate. I do it for you because this is what I do all day, every day. So keep in mind, be aware of those hidden fees, factor in the shipping and all that. And next thing you know, three or $4,000 later, that's the real price to get the van to your driveway. And my question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price, if they've got hidden fees on the back end, if they're not being transparent from the get-go, what else are they hiding? Is it electrical issues? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues or a salvage title? You know, I don't know. I just know people aren't being honest from the get-go and, and transparent. There's a real good chance they're hiding something else. So keep that in mind when you're out shopping. If you'd like to give us a call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I'm gonna give the van a nice hard brake. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And if you'd like to uh, shoot me a text message, 316-518-4377. Again, my name is Jeremiah, I am the owner. I challenge you, ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Call those big brawn companies, VMI, Freedom Motors, United Access, Mobility Works. Ask them, are you, are you dedicated enough to give me the owner's cell phone number? Ask them and see what they say because you've got my cell phone number. Uh, we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or email address. You can fill it out. If computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone. Give us a call. We're happy to take one over the phone. By the way, AC works great in this van. It's about 100 degrees today. It's crisp. It's cool. It works great. Uh, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country. Whether a standard vehicle or a mobility vehicle, call me. I can explain how that works. And hey, if you'd like to talk to the comp give the competition a call, talk to a used car salesman who's probably going to call you five times a day asking if you're ready to make a deal you go right ahead and do that if you want absolutely zero pressure sales you give me a call because i promise this van's gonna sell whether you buy it or not no pressure sales i'm just here to give you the information you need let you make the best decision for you your family or your business if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this free carfax reports and dozens of pictures of every van check out our website at mobility 316 Dot com. That's www.mobility316.com. Let's get back to the office. I'll show you a Carfax. And the final portion of the video, I always like to show you a Carfax report. You can see the VIN number there. You can show this vehicle is one owner, no accidents or damage, last owned in nice salt, rust-free California. As I scroll down, you can see Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. They show no total loss, so this is not one of the risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title with no accidents. Shows no structural damage or airbag deployment. Odometer is accurate. No accidents or damage. Has one open recall. You, you can take it to any Dodge Chrysler dealer. 
have it serviced at no charge to you. Also, look us up on eBay. You can see we have 1,015 transactions. We have 100% positive feedback. That's 1,015 people said I did them right. Zero people said we did them wrong. Also, look us up on Google. Make sure we're a real company within the United States, which we are. Do not send money to anyone that's not. Look at our ratings, 4.8 out of 5-star reviews. Yeah, I see the guys out in uh, Atlanta. I see the guys in New Jersey selling dirt cheap vans. Actually, they're, they're still more expensive than ours, but selling dirt cheap vans, and I see their one-star and two-star ratings on Google. So if you want to do business with people like that, if you think you're saving money, you're going to get a better deal, you go ahead and do business with those one- and two-star people that have been screwing people over year after year and keep getting horrible reviews. If you want five-star service, five-star reviews, five-star vans, you give me a call. And as always, thanks for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.